TV every Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time here in Montreal. It's a little bit of a gray day, raining a little bit, but hopefully the lighting will be okay for the live stream. And today we are continuing, well, we're doing our last Wizard of Oz thing, which is the Wicked Witch, but also morphs into Halloween. So I've actually created these new Halloween templates. I'll be, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get around to doing any of them today, but I'll do the witch. And if we have time, we'll go and do a Halloween um, little thing out of wire. So as always, I've got all my wires here. I don't know if you guys can see them, but let me, maybe when I put my screen, you're going to see them. And then I'm going to turn this around so you can see what's going on. So if I do this slowly, you can see that's how I store my wires in these little trays from uh, the dollar store and it works really well. I have them in order of gauge and uh, yeah, it works really well. So let's just flip the screen, make sure everything's lined up. I'm going to pull you guys up on my uh, computer so I can see what's going on. Let us see. And we'll just go to the my channel, close my other browsers so we don't have any noises we we'll open the live stream so you should be able to see the glenda the good witch from last week and also the tornado house so ooh, we have a bunch of people hopping on so hi jan hi ruby hi corey hi lady hawk nancy hi nancy nice okay Yay, happy you're here. Hi, Susan. Wonderful. And my sister, Kristen. W World Peace is my sister, Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Diana. Yay, everybody's hopping on. That is awesome. So let us just skip this ad. Sorry about that, guys. And make sure that we are well centered. I'm just going to put find out where my, cam uh, my camera has to be. So I'm going to move it over a little bit. The lighting is not the best today I have to admit it but we're going to do what we can hi Sandy awesome so what we're going to do is today I am this is the last of the Wizard of Oz thing so if you guys have been following for the last month I've gone through all of the Wizard of well not all but a lot of the Wizard of Oz things and uh that was an original suggestion from um Sharon because Sharon wanted a scarecrow so hi Myrta so we've done all these other ones, the flying monkeys and different things that we did. Here's the tornado house and here is Glenda. So let's do that witch. And I do have other witch templates. Um, and I'm gonna put together a little booklet of Halloween templates because I have quite a few years of accumulation now. So why don't we just try to do the witch? I'll try not to be as... Um, uh meticulous as i have in the other ones because some of the other ones took a long time so here's the other uh, wizard of oz templates and those are all in my etsy diy shop and if ever you get any templates in the shop be sure to use the coupon code save uh, save 25 that's s a v e capital letters and then the number two number five to save 25 percent on all the templates so Amber, yay. So here, Tree Sap Girl, if you guys don't already know, is Amber. She's the moderator of my YouTube channel. And um, if I miss any uh, comments or questions, I should um, should actually open up my phone. And then, Amber, if there's ever anything, you could always DM me if I miss a comment or something. So maybe I'll just make sure that I have my notifications on my phone. And then... Um, and then that way I could, uh, I would hear from you there. Let's do that. So if ever there's like an emergency comment that I miss, you could always DM me because there's a lot of people on here. We have 30 people watching. So let's get going. So I want to get some black wire. I also have some beads that I don't know if I'm going to use, but these are my friend Allison's beads that I got out of the tickle trunk. If you guys don't already know, I have a trunk in my studio. I call it my tickle trunk. And that's where a lot of my beads are from because my friend Allison um, left them for me. So that was, that was wonderful to have all her beads. And if you guys don't know the reference for the tickle trunk, that's a reference to the Mr. Dress Up, 
which was an iconic children's show when I was growing up. And they just did a documentary about him on um, Amazon Prime. So if you guys have Amazon Prime, be sure to watch that movie, but bring Kleenex because it's very emotional. So there we go. Now let us go ahead and why don't we do it the same way we've been doing it before, where we do the uh, the dress first and we'll build around the dress. So that seems to be a method that works quite well. I'm gonna start with a 20 gauge wire. I might even do long sleeves and then we don't have to, in fact, I might even just do the whole thing in black this time because I don't wanna get, like I said, I don't wanna to be too fussy about it. So let me get a piece of the black wire. We should also measure it. Um, let us do this. Let me just grab a ruler. I do more prepared. There we go. So let's grab a ruler and we will make the witch. So how much? Let's just cut, to be sure, let's cut 24 inches. That's probably way too much wire, but I'm gonna go with that. And now we are going to build the witch. So why don't we just start at the, maybe at the bottom. Yeah, I haven't quite decided if I want to do the whole thing in black or not. I'll definitely do the, the broom with a separate wire. I actually have a, um, on one of my live streams before, I did a witch on the broom, which was really cool. So let's just try to keep this one pretty simple. And... Where do I want to start? That's always the hard part is knowing where to start. So when in doubt, maybe start at the bottom and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to just start at the bottom. Hi, Daniel. Here we go. Glad you're here. So yeah, because some, somebody asked me in the Facebook group actually uh, when I go live. So it's every Wednesday at 1.30 Eastern time and... Um, Sometimes I'm a few minutes late. I was pretty good today, so that's good. So I'm not sure if I want to make her as big as that. I don't want to run out of wire, so I'm going to just kind of bring it in maybe a little bit more because I, yeah, I really don't want to use too much wire. So I'm just going to kind of free form this and try to keep it pretty simple. It's going to bring this one, see, I'm going to do it smaller than that. And I really haven't quite decided how I want to do it. Like if I want to go, go across or if I just want to do a kind of silhouette, maybe rather than going across, I might just do a little silhouette. I'm just kind of winging it here. And then we're going to do like an arm thing around here. And I don't want it to be too big either. And then if we're going to do a broom, what I'm thinking is maybe we should do the broom first and then attach it in the uh, in the hand. So why don't we do the broom? I'm going to attach it in her hand and then we'll go from there. So what can we make the broom out of? Maybe gold or brown or brown or copper. Sorry, my arm's in there. I have copper might be good. So let's grab some copper. There we go. Uh, where do I find that picture? Do you mean the template? Um, I think I might have missed something. If you mean the templates, the templates are in my uh, Etsy DIY shop. Uh, they're usually in the um, in my shop within 24 hours of the live streams, but these ones are already in the shop because I've been working on Wizard of Oz for a few weeks now. So actually what I'm thinking is maybe we'll do a little twisty I'm gonna cut that longer. Let's do a little twisty uh, for the broom. Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm just backpedaling a little bit. Actually, that might be long enough because if I do the handle with this and then I do like, let's get some thinner gauge to do the broom. So we're already kind of morphing out of doing the, doing the, um, uh, the witch and we're now we're doing the broom so let's get some 26 gauge wire let me move some of this stuff so it's out of the way we're getting too much clutter here so let's get some 26 gauge wire uh you're welcome to make stuff through though let's see uh, okay 
Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, we're not doing the let's get wired. This is just a, this is just a regular live stream where I troubleshoot designs. But if you guys want to work while you watch me, the more you're more than welcome. You can come and go. You can, you can leave and watch the replay. Like anything, anything goes with this. So there's no, there's no real rules. So now let us do the broom and how much of a broom thing do we want? What if we just take this and wind it around? Maybe I'll just wind it around my fingers a little bit. I don't know how big I want to make this. I'm just going to wind it around two fingers and see what happens. We're going to go around here. Might not be enough. Okay, we're going to go around here. And then we want to bring it in. Okay, we're going to fold it in half here. And we're going to fold it here. And then what I want to do is I want to make a broom. So let's get the, let's get the um, piece of copper wire. Hopefully it's going to be long enough now. So we brought this one in. Hi, Galen. Nice, nice to see you. There we go. So let's just bring this one in and I'm going to wind it around twice. Okay, we're going to attempt to make the broom. So we're going to, so basically it kind of looks like dragonfly wings, which is cool. Or those, sometimes you see angel wings done like that. And then I'm going to, I'm going to push this, maybe the camera over a little bit. There we go. And now, yeah, we're, we're a great group and you guys always give each other really good ideas. And um, yeah, if you're, if you're new to this group, um, you know, just introduce yourself, say hello, um, just hop in the conversation. We uh, share ideas about wire art and jewelry making. And um, you guys always help me with these designs too, giving me feedback and stuff, which is great. Because what, what I do with these live streams is I, I come on and I usually, I never even used to make sketches first for the live streams. That's something recent in the last, I would say in the last year or something. I'd like to come now prepared with sketches, but then the design will just come um, as it comes, right? So, so that's, but it's nice to start with sketches. Then I at least know what I'm working on because I used to just hop on with wire and just like, try to figure it out on the way. So now this looks interesting. This is a funny little uh, broom starting here. And then we're gonna bring this down here and here. And then I think we're gonna have to clip those ends a little bit. So we're gonna clip the ends. I'll just clip those off here. And don't worry if they're all the same length or anything. So I'll just clip those in the at the bottom there. Okay, and then these are kind of funny funny curved end so I'm gonna try to straighten it out a little bit let's just do this perfect so let's just bend this one here and and then bend this one here and this one here and these these ends up being these ends end up being different sizes which is kind of cool too so that looks like a broom right that's pretty cool. And then let us maybe do a little wire up here to, to get all these to stick together. So I'm actually going to bend this in here a bit. And we're just going to squeeze that a little bit in here. You can just like go in and squeeze it any which way. And you can kind of like, even if you flatten it out, actually, it works really well. So we'll just flatten it out here and then I'm going to wind it around, I think, with another wire so it's going to stay in place. So let's get some more of the gold wire. I just have to find a piece. It's a cool broom, eh? Yeah, no, it turned out well. I like the twisty handle. Twisty handle worked out well. So, but now we do want to attach these wires. I guess in theory you should kind of weave these together. I don't know if I could do that. Let's, let's put the wire in here. Okay, we're just gonna put it in that little section. It's so dark, sorry guys, that it's so dark outside. But now we're going to bring this one in and maybe we can bring it up through again. I mean, in a perfect world, I would have time and weave these, weave it back and forth, but I just wanna keep this pretty simple for now. So I'm gonna bring this one over here and then string it through there. So we've got like a beginning just a beginning thing where it's attached at the at the top a little bit and then from there we can maybe trim one here 
And then this one, we can just maybe wind it around a little bit. I'm just gonna keep this pretty simple. Yeah, you can just maybe bring it down a little bit more here and wind it up and up and up. Okay, so now let's trim that. Ah, Mustafa, wow, it's been a long time. Nice to see you. Awesome. And Bernice, it's CBC Imaginarium is Bernice. Hi, Bernice, how are you? So there we go. So now we have the broom and let us, yeah, I like that it's all messy like that. That looks good. And then we're going to bring it to the, oh, that's, that's plenty long, this. So what, let's just clip the ends of the broom. Might be way too long, but that's okay. So we're going to just take this and clip it. Remember that, Mustafa? Clip it. Every time I say that, I think of you. And we're going to pinch that one in, in place. And then this one too, we could, we could just bring it around and clip it a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. So let's get that. We're gonna clip that. And perfect. Yeah, last week I think it was super sunny, so the weather's different. This is this is like bending a little bit, but we could probably either twist it a little bit more or twist or or pinch it. Yeah, so if you twist it a little more, that works well. It gets it in place. And I don't mind that it's a little bit kind of not super straight. Like it looks a little witch-like. So that's cool. It does flip around a little bit, but I'm gonna pinch it a little bit more. Yeah, that if you pinch it, it doesn't flip around so much. So there's our cool little broom, guys. That's really cool just on its own. I like that. And now I am going to figure out how to put it in the witch's hand. So maybe it's a little big for her, but that's okay. I think that's fine. And we're just gonna put it in here. She might be a little small now, but I think I'm not gonna to worry too much about it. Let's just let's just go with this. So we're gonna bring this one around and then you can wind this around a few times and that will be your hand. Okay, so we're keeping this pretty simple. So there's her arm here. And don't worry guys, I'll put good photos of these in the community section. So you will be able to get a good look at um, the design so there we go. And you know, you guys can get the templates, but these are also standalone designs. So you don't have to get the templates. You can just uh, sketch it out yourself and go for it. And, um, and that's it. Yeah, so mostly I'm just working out the methods. So here is the witch. She's got funny, I don't know why all my figures look like they have football shoulders, but that's uh, that's a that's an issue. So now do I want to do her face? I'm just going to do the whole thing, I think, with the wire because you could attach a separate wire for the face. But I think I do want to keep this one really simple. So let's just do like a, a chin thing here. So we've got her like a pointy chin. And then she's got her pointy nose, of course. So let's just try that. Because she's small, it's not going to show up as well but we're gonna do our best. So let's give her a, a big, funny looking nose. I should have maybe made it more um, pointy. So if you want something more pointy, you always like get your flat pliers and give it a good little squish at the intersection and then it becomes quite pointy, more pointy. So there we go. Ah, oh, we have a, a VEA. Hello. I wish I could do a, I wish there was a translate button on these things, guys. I, uh, cause I can't, I don't have time to go to Google Translate. Mm hmm So now let us bring this one around here. There we go. Yeah, we haven't seen Mustafa in a long time. I, I check in with him now and then on Instagram. So Mustafa has some really beautiful art and jewelry that he posts on Instagram. Here, let's just, and there was, um, you made some clocks too, eh? Those were really cool. So here's here's Witchy. I'm just gonna give her a little bit of a bust line. That's all right. She could be a Barbie witch. So now let us go ahead and we're gonna do the other arm up here. 
we could fill in that dress a little later, I guess. And I'm just going to bring, what kind of shape do I want to do the other arm? I don't know if I want to just hang down or, hmm, haven't really decided what I want to do. Maybe I'll just follow the, I'll just follow the image somewhat. So we're going to bring that one down. Do witches hold anything else in their hand? Other than a poison apple, but that would go, that would go with a different story. So I don't know what witches hold in their hand. Hmm. There's a translate function on my computer. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. In the chat, I don't see one. So, um, usually when I get comments on, uh, on, um, YouTube, I'll just Google translate. I'll cut and paste and Google translate. So, uh, wrong story. Exactly. A wand. Mm, yeah, well, she's got this. I don't know. Does she, do they have a wand as well? Maybe a bucket. I don't know. A bucket with something gross in it or a cauldron or something. Oh, we could do that. Why don't we do a little, I just feel like it needs something. We could do like a little cauldron or something. Like, um, like a big no wand. That's what I thought. I don't know, Amber, you're the, she just waves her empty hand around. Okay, so let's, let's not bother putting anything in her hand. We're just going to do, um, I don't know if I can, I'll try it. I'll just try it how I did the sketch with the finger. Yeah, because Amber's seen um, Wizard of Oz a gazillion times. So she's, she's like my consultant, Wizard of Oz consultant. So we're just going to do a hand, like a, just kind of like a, not open, open, but just kind of like that. Interesting. Now, maybe her arm's too short, but the thing with this is with the live streams, I'm not too worried about proportions and stuff. I really want just to work out designs and then you guys can you know, do them in any which way you want. She's going to look like she has a lobster claw, but that's okay. It's kind of cool. Yeah, her arm is really short. So maybe we could roll it down a little bit. Let's open it up. Roll it down a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. We'll just roll it down a little bit. That's the thing with the wire. It's pretty forgiving. So we're going to bring that one up here. And then the shoulder, we want to make sure it's more or less at the same place. It's not too bad. So we've got that. And now maybe I'll add more details after. But for now, I think I'm going to keep it pretty simple. So this is what we've got so far. It's not awful. And, but if you want to do it in the other way, you can. Uh, you're a sorceress. Oh, cool. Um, maybe that's like a wizard. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe I'm a witch. Who knows? I'm thinking of bewitched. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So now let us, um, also she's got this cool hat, right? So how are we going to do the hat? Maybe we have to, and do we want to even bother doing the eyeball? I don't think we're going to do the eye. Her face, her heads end up being a little bit big. I'm just going to make the chin a little bit bigger. Now she looks like she has a beak. I don't know. This is not quite what I envisioned, but maybe we can make the nose a little bigger, uh, smaller or something. Yeah, she does look like she has a bit of a beak, but... That's okay. I'm not going to worry too much about it. She looks a little funny and she has a very large head, but that's okay. So now let us do the hat. So we're going to bring that one down here. Hats are a little tricky after Ashley. And then we're going to bring this one up here. Okay. And I don't know if that's how I want to do it here. We're going to bring that one across and then we can do a kind of a she definitely looks like she has some kind of weird beak thing going on. And we also want to do the hair. Um, sorry, guys. I'm just thinking of the best way to attach this. So I'm actually going to bring this one over here and start the hat. Hey, Michael. Golden broom. Yes. So now let's see if we could do like a big hat. Yeah, I might. Maybe I should add the hat after, but that doesn't make sense. No, this isn't working. So what are we gonna do here? I kind of re reached a, a place where it's not quite working how I thought, but let's, let's just try to do the hat thing. 
trouble is like lining up these areas here, but sometimes you have to have to like kind of do it and then you line them up after. So you know what I could do so that holds in place? Let's get some uh, wire for the hair. So what color hair does the witch have? Uh, let me know. I have these 24 gauge wires that I could use for the hair or I have 26 gauge wire. What do you think for the hair color? Maybe I'll do 26. And now, we could do it. Oh boy, that's funny, Susan. Um, jumped on to catch the video on top of my visit. Wow, that's very nice that you took the time to hop on and say hello. I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, so what color here? I have yellow, I have peach. A red, purple, gold. What do you think? Black here. It might blend in a little bit with the. It might blend in a little bit with the um, the witch. That's the only issue with the black hair. So let's go with another color. But teal. Sure. Why not? Let's do teal. I like teal, and it would contrast. Perfect. I actually love this color. Teal was always my favorite color. It's well, they call it peacock blue, but I think that looks like teal. I uh, had a shirt, a blouse in high school that was teal and it was like my favorite, favorite blouse. I loved it so much. So let us just cut some teal wire. And I love these, uh, these different colors of wire. They're so, they're so beautiful and there's a lot you can do with them. And, um, I definitely love the teal. They have lots of different shades of um, blues and, and uh, well, the rose gold is another one that I really like as well. This is all the artistic wire. And um, the yeah, the colors are gorgeous. So here we go. So here is a little bit too long a piece. Let's cut it a little shorter. Joan says, teal is lovely. Hey, Joan. Did I say hi already, Joan? I'm not sure. I'm, I lose track sometime of who I've already said hello to. So if I miss you, um, be sure to comment again and let me know. And I'll keep an eye on my on my DMs, uh, Amber, if I, in case I ever miss anything. So, and I don't always go back in the chat after the live stream because often they're two hours long. So, um, understandable. I wouldn't have go have time to go back in the chat, but if ever I miss any of your comments or questions, you can always email me at info at heatherboydwire.com and I would be happy, more than happy to answer any of your questions. So I even have people that send me like questions about creating designs. I've designed things for people based on, you know, you know, their input of what they want. And um, I love doing that. So now I've just, what I've done is I've attached it in two places and that way uh, we won't, um, the wires won't slip apart. So that's, that's a little hack. So you kind of tack it together in two places and then we can leave the, maybe, maybe I could just trim it and then add pieces after rather than, rather than, having it folding back and forth, you can go ahead and add more pieces of wire there. I wouldn't make them all the same size. It's always more interesting when things sizes are a little bit very cobalt blue, uh, Connie says. Yeah, cobalt is a lovely color, especially in um, painting. Yeah, uh, Prussian blue is another gorgeous paint color. I love Prussian blue. I would say that's one of my favorite colors for painting. Teal is your one of your favorites too yeah for sure teal is anything green and blue mix it's similar it's like a greeny blue yeah more on the blue side but definitely would have like more green than some uh than some um blues for sure yeah yeah it's such this is such a nice calm color you know so there we're just going to keep going by adding some teal here let's do another one I'm just gonna use up my little bits and then I don't think I'm gonna do too much hair but you get the idea if you want to add more hair you can I've just kind of added it there at the side so now we need to do the hat hats are really tricky to get the right shape and stuff 
coily. Yeah, make it curly. That's a great idea, Mustafai. I think I might either coil it or or like bend it back and forth. So let's let's do the hat and then we can uh, fix up the hair a little bit for sure. So now I'm gonna just bring this one down a bit and that way, and let's form the hat. So the hat would be pretty like wide. I think the brim is quite wide. And then, oopsies, I'm gonna bring that one there. Maybe that's too wide. Try to give it a little bit of shape. And then we're gonna bring that one up and then make it pointy. So we've got that. And this one, let's just, I'm gonna bring that one down a little bit. I'm just, okay, I'm just gonna bring that one down so it looks like it's kind of behind her head. So it looks like it's a little bit lower than that one. I'm just going by the sketch here. Maybe that's too low, but I'm not gonna to worry too much about it. And then I'm gonna take this and make the other side of the brim, bring it over. Okay, so we've got this so far. And I'm gonna bring that one down. And it's good to give it a little bit of shape. So we're just gonna kind of give it a little, looks like a cowboy hat, but that's okay. So we're gonna bring this one here. And I know I did a hat tutorial or live stream before and I put, I think I put beads or something in there. I forget what it was, but what I'm gonna do is just finish it here. Maybe try to make it look, look less cowboy hat-ish. Maybe just, I kind of didn't, I removed that little dip there because that really made it look like a cowboy hat. So now I'm just gonna take this and give it a little tug. I'm just twisted it around there and now I'm going to, her hair was very stringy, bending. Okay, cool. Not so curly, more stringy. Stringy like the, um, like a, a broom, like a kind of uh, reminiscent of a broom. So now we've just attached that one there. So this is a good little design hack to finish the edges, to finish the ends. And now we're gonna just do her, let's make her hat pretty big, I guess. And give it a good little point here. Hopefully that's big enough. And then get the shape there, that definitely looks like, <laughs> I don't know if I should give it more shape. You can kind of give it a bit of shape too. Sometimes it's nicer to give, so the lines aren't super straight. It's kind of nice to give it a little bit of texture or, sh or shape a little bit. So yeah, that definitely my wire was a little too low. What did we, we cut it um, 24 inches, Amber? So what's what we got left? We've got like three inches and then another, three, three and four is seven, 24 minus seven is 17. So let's say cut it 18 inches to be sure um, for, the, for, this, for the outline of the witch. I think 18 inches is probably better. 24 was a little much. So if you're doing it this size, you can do it about 24 inches. So here we go. And then you're gonna just bring this one around I should have probably helped it with the wires. Usually what I do is I try to like help the help the bend with the round pliers first. It really helps because otherwise your 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 design this kind of gets pulled down a little bit. So that's a that's always a good hack is to tr bend the wire first with the round pliers and then you can wind it around something. It's like a Santa hat. Yeah, that is a little like a Santa hat. But uh Let's try to make it less cowboy hat, less Santa hat. It's not too bad like that. I think it's okay. I mean, you guys let me know if I should do any tweaks to the hat to make it less Santa hat-ish. And we're gonna just give that a good little pinch so it'll hold in place. So sometimes it's hard to access it, but that's good. So there's what we've got so far for the witch. And we could fill her in a little bit. Let's let's just kink the hair a bit first. So we've got all of these wires. Now for me to do them all separately, it's gonna take me forever. So let's just, let's just get our pliers and try to kink them a little bit. 
and then we're gonna separate them. So let's just see what we do. If we could just give it some little kinks like that instead of like worrying too much. And then let's trim these wires different heights. So we're just gonna get that. The hat's great, thank you. Uh, oh, you were suggesting I make a Santa hat. <laughs> yeah, I think I have made a Santa hat, but um, I, like I said, I lose track. Let's not think about Christmas yet. It's a little bit early for that. Oh, and there's my phone, but I think I'll just let that go unless it's important and then I'll go answer it. So here's, here's the hair. So now we can just kind of separate it a little bit and there we go. So it's, maybe she had a crimper for her hair. It looks a little, now it's a little too perfect, but you can straighten some of them out a little bit to make, if it's too consistent or, or straight, you can just smooth some of them out a little bit. It's not a big deal. You can definitely do that. So, oh, that's someone for me. Hang out. Hang out. Oh, just a sec. Sorry guys, that was important. I didn't I didn't think it was important, but it was. So I'm back. There we go. Okay, perfect. As we were, as my mom used to say, that was one of my mom's favorite expressions. As we were, there we go, perfect. Excellent. Uh, so here is our witch so far. Um, let me pull this over. I mean, you can definitely do more hair. I could have added more hair. Maybe we can trim some a little more so some are shorter and some are longer. It looks good when they're different lengths. But now, so that's just the silhouette. She's kind of cool. I definitely like her broom. And maybe I'm gonna pinch these in a little bit so she's gonna show. It looks awesome, thank you. So you guys let me know if we could, I mean, you could even fill in the, you can fill in the dress with, um, what was I gonna say, uh, um, beads. This is 22 gauge wire. We could fill it in with a bit of that. Let's just try it. Let's just try to fill it in. We could do the chaos wrap thing. Maybe this time to try it because um, last time we just did some drapery. But if we want to try to fill it in a little bit, we can. So let us bring this one around here. Okay. And there. And then we can bring this one around here a little bit. Okay. And... We'll see how it's gonna look. If it doesn't look right, that's okay. So I'm just making a little quickie chaos wrap thing to fill it in a little bit. And I'd like to keep it a little like, yeah, let's do it. I think it's fun. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little bit and then I'll attach some and then we'll, we might have to fill it in with a little bit more. So I just find it a little bit plain without uh, stealing Toto in the movie. Ah, okay. Yeah, I still have to watch that movie. My bad. So I should, I should watch it soon. I'll find it. I wonder how many versions of Wizard of Oz there is. I mean, I know there's the traditional older version, but there must be other more modern versions of it as well. But uh, actually Mimi was saying to me, she saw it a Broadway show of Wizard of Oz in Ottawa because they, they tour Broadway shows. And um, she was in Ottawa visiting my my mom like years ago and they went to see it at the Art Center. So that was cool. She said it was the best like Broadway show she'd ever seen. So that's really cool. So let's open this up. And then here is the Witch's Chaos Wrap. Looks really good actually. So let me just do a few more over here. And 
around here and we can add some more after. So I'm just gonna, I'm just really winging it to see how it's gonna look. So we've got that and that. Let's just add these and go from there. Wicked, oh, Wicked, okay. I want, no, Wicked is, is that Wizard of Oz? What do I know? Um, Maybe that's what she saw. It's possible. I'm gonna ask her if that's what it was because um, she just said it was Wizard of Oz, but you never know. It could have been Wicked, who knows? I'd have to look up, I don't remember what year it was, but I mean, my my sister would remember if that's what it was called. Um, and I don't, I don't know if Mimi kept the, the program, like it was a long time ago, so I'm not sure. I've been to New York City and seen a few Broadway shows, but I didn't see that one. I saw um, Mary Poppins twice, and what else did I see on Broadway? Hmm. I saw I saw Mean Girls, but in Ottawa, that the Broadway version of Mean Girls in Ottawa. It was okay. It was a little. I gotta admit, it was a little cheaply done because they um, instead of like really elaborate sets, they did a backdrop of video, and you know it's like sort of modern technology. But I found it was really just distracting. You know, I didn't I didn't appreciate. Um, how it looked. Um, maybe some people liked it, but um, yeah, I didn't like that take on doing, you know, scenery with the uh, with the video graphics in the background. I mean, well thought out, but it just, uh, I, di I didn't enjoy it so much. Stark Joga, hello! There we go, hola! So now, see, we're filling it in a bit with the chaos wrap, and it, it definitely suits it. This definitely suits the Chaos Wrap uh, solution. So let's do, we have another little bit here and I will bring this one around and I'll just keep going with the black wire until I run out. I'm gonna pinch this in place to hold it. But yeah, definitely needed some, a little bit of oomph. So we're gonna just keep going with that. And then hopefully I'll have still time for a Halloween thing after this. So, the, I mean, this could be Wizard of Oz, but it could also just be Halloween. So we're just going to, I like this. It kind of looks like mystical a little bit. I like the, I like the chaos wrap and you know, chaos is appropriate for, for a wicked witch uh, causing chaos. So now we're just going to go ahead with this. Now, if my wire was longer, I could continue it, but it's not. So I'm just going to twist this one around uh, and then give it a little pinch and I'll get more wire. Make sure that's nicely centered and placed. There we go, now our hair is going all over the place. There, and we can add more after too if we want. I do like the teal hair, that was, that was a stroke of genius. So let's get some more black wire. I mean, it's the perfect time making her fall here and Halloween, exactly. Yeah, I figured this was gonna be a good way to morph into uh, Halloween designs because next week I'll work on the designs from the Halloween templates. So um, you guys can let me know what sort of things you want me to do next week. I'll show you the templates again. And if we have time, we can do maybe a quick one here and then um, and then do more next week. So I'm just gonna continue with this chaos wrap. And you'll see this wire is quite soft. This is the 22 gauge artistic wire. Um, you can get the artistic wire on the Beadalon website or in the, uh, on Amazon. They actually have an Amazon uh, shop where you can get their stuff. So if you have Amazon Prime, um, the shipping is free. In the States, I guess that is. I'm not sure how that works with Canada, but um, I guess it works the same with Canada. Yeah, if you order on Amazon in Canada or the States you and you have Prime, the shipping is free, so that's pretty cool. So now let us bring this one here and we'll just attach this one here. And then we're just gonna keep working our way up. Uh, yeah, I like Amazon Prime because you also get movies and documentaries, and that's where I watch the 
Mr. Dress Up documentary last night. And uh, like I said, it's, um, it's a beautiful documentary. I didn't know that Mr. Dress Up was actually friends with Mr. Rogers, and they um, knew each other from the States. They're both American. And um, they came up to Canada together to film a children's TV show um, way back in the late 60s. And, um, and then Mr. Rogers ended up going back to the States and, doing, and becoming Mr. Rogers. And um, Ernie Combs, who was Mr. Dress Up, uh, started the Mr. Dress Up show and uh, was hugely successful with that and um, definitely an icon from my generation. And um, apparently his last, this is where I was started bawling in the, in the documentary, but the last episode was filmed on February 14th, 1996, which is the day that Mimi was born. So I was like in the hospital uh, having Mimi when he was filming his last Mr. Dress Up episode. So I thought that was pretty poignant for sure because he was he's definitely the one person that influenced me the most with my art and um, arts, crafts, drawing. You know, he was an amazing artist. So yeah, that was a very, very interesting documentary. I highly recommend it for sure. What's almost 100 years old? I'm missing something. The movie, the, oh, uh, Wizard of Oz, that's possible. Yeah, for sure. That makes sense. Filmed in 39. Okay. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, now I really have to see that movie. I wonder how long it is. Because they used to make really long movies, and I do not have a very high attention span for things. Usually when I watch movies uh, here, I'll watch like half, a movie and then watch the next half the next night or a third of a movie and watch the next third and then the next third and yeah I just um I tend to not have uh, as much of a attention span for for watching uh, movies but uh, I like documentaries and stuff they're usually like an hour or an hour and a half so that's cool okay so get in there I'm just hooking, what I'm doing is I'm just hooking this wire into the other wire so it doesn't slip up if you're wondering what I just did there. So I'm gonna do that a little under two hours. Well, that's manageable. I could definitely handle that. So here's, we're coming along with the witch. I'm gonna just get the hair out of her way here. And then we're gonna keep doing, I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna try to make these chaos wraps a little bit bigger. Otherwise we're gonna be here until the cows come home so let's just keep going with this we're going to be doing this until dorothy comes home so let's bring this one around and around and then a little bit more and oh maybe i should have done more than one chaos wrap there but you get the point and then i'm going to do maybe another little one here and then i'm just going to need one more wire and i think we should be we should be good yeah sorry this is taking so long but if i'm going to do it i may as well just fill in the whole thing okay so we've got that and that and then we're just going to need one more i think i'm going to bring this one down around here and around here and then I'm gonna hook it into that one so it doesn't slide. So that's that's a good little hack, just to hook it into the previous chaos wraps so it doesn't like hike up like that. First portion is black and white, then color for most of the rest. Oh, that's interesting. Because it's being colorized or because that's how they filmed the movie? There we go. Okay, so let's do a wee bit more black and then she's good to go. My hands are starting to get stiff. So let's do this. It's how they film. Very cool. It makes sense though. Yeah, yeah. So let's do a little bit more of the chaos wrap. So I'm just going to twist them first and then I'll add them 
to the design around here and then this one around and around that one should maybe make the middle one a little bit smaller just give it a little tug if your center circle isn't small enough and you can just rotate it in if it's too wide there's lots of little hacks you can do now let's see that's good so let's attach this one could look like she's wearing a bikini, but that's all right. It's all good. Okay, so we're gonna bring that one there, this one here, and place that one in here. Perfect, get in there, you. Now the hat, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna do that or not. I might do the hat with a thinner wire and maybe do um, more of a weave type of thing. So we're gonna bring this one in here to that side. So we've got that side and then over to this side, okay, bring it over here and just wind it around under her arm and then up. Oh, Galen has to go. Okay, bye Galen. Thanks for hopping by. It's been a minute, a hot minute. Now Galen, I know you participate in a lot of the 10 day challenges, so we will be having another 10 day challenge towards the end of November early December, we're going to be doing a 10 day bookmark making challenge. So you guys need to make some gifts for uh, Christmas for the holidays. Uh, that's what we'll, we're going to be doing. So look out for that. we we'll just have to um, uh, get live wires for the wind underway. Uh, yesterday was the deadline to submit for that. So I we're uh, looking over all the applications today and we are going to announce the participants in the next couple of days so that's exciting so now let's just finish this up just to fill in the arms and this one too we're going to do a little bit one here yeah you could really go all out with this I don't want to spend too much time but I mean I've already spent a lot of time but I think that's okay. We're just going to keep this pretty simple. We're going to bring this one around here. Make sure my arms are still staying in there. We're going to bring this one through and bring that one to the back. And then you can always bring that one around to the other side too if you want to just finish it up a little bit. So we'll bring that one in here bring that one around to the back. So now I'm just gonna clip that, clip it. And then uh, this one, maybe we can somehow, here, it's hard to, sometimes it's hard to get the circle ready. So we're just gonna bring that one around here and bring this one down a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to just try to keep this super simple. I'm just doing a couple of little tiny winds here just to represent that we're filling in that area. And then here, I'm just going to bring it around and clip it there. Okay, so that's that. I can always maybe add more on the other arm later. It's a little tricky to uh, capture the end there. Okay, did it go in? I think so. So there is our witch with her very chaos wrap. If I actually, if I bring this wire, if I bring the blue wire over her arm, oh, look at that. I wound the wire around her hair, which I didn't mean to do. So we can pull that out. And we're gonna bring this one to the front and then that'll kind of cover the arm a little bit too. So I'm not too worried about that. We could either add some black wire or maybe I'll add more hair, but for now it's okay. So here's the witch. You can even make that a little wider if you want, or you can keep it, keep it in like that. So here's, this is still wiggling quite a bit. So I might try to pinch that in a little bit more. It's pretty good. 
Yeah, we can just pinch that in a little more so it doesn't, well, it still wiggles, that's all right. So here's the witch. Now let's see if we could quickly fill in her hair. I'm just gonna grab a little sip of water. She looks wicked, yay. Oh, bye, Mich uh, Michael, see you soon. So much patience, patience, thank you. So let's get some, how can we fill in the hat? I have this black wire, which is probably about 28 gauge, I think, because I don't seem to have 26 gauge black. So let's just go with this. This is an old wire I had a long time ago. Um, oh, you know why I had this wire? Because I crochet uh, wire, and this is a good wire for crocheting, and I used to make uh, cards with crocheted dresses. I think I might have a tutorial on um, on YouTube for that. This is all tangled up. And so I've made crocheted dresses, actually similar, they end up looking similar to this dress, but they're crocheted, so that's interesting. So now we are going to take this and try to fill in the hat. So what are we gonna do with that? So definitely you'll need a thinner wire to do this. Um, it's hard to weave when the when it's a closed shape like that, but I'll do my best just to try to weave this in, just to see how it looks so you guys can have an idea. And what I might do is start the weave and then finish it after the live stream. So let's just see if it's gonna work. So we've got this. And this is 28. You could use 26 if you have it. I don't, so we're just gonna go with this and see. So we wanna wind it. Oh, and remember that hack you told me, Amber, about pushing the end in? You, I forget how to do that. You have to push it in with your thumb or something. So we're gonna wind this one around. I am making a royal mess. So we're gonna bring this one in and we're just going to wind it back and forth. You could also fill in, I think I don't know for the witch's hat, but I definitely did something where I filled it in with black nail polish. I think it was a witch's hat, but now I don't remember what it was. So we're gonna bring this one around and we're just weaving it. Now, I'm not a huge wire weaver. There are other channels that specialize in wire weaving. I only do it when I'm mostly trying to fill in areas of color. So we're going to bring that. And I remember Amber told me like if you push it in or something with your thumb, then it won't kink. So Emily, hi Emily. Has beautiful robe and sorcer sorceress hat. Cool. Nice, thank you. Yes, yeah, I did do one last year where the witch was actually on the broom. So that's uh that's a pretty that was a fun one and i don't remember how i did the broom for that one maybe i did it the same way who knows i kind of lose track of what i've done so this wire is quite thin this is the like i said this is the 28 gauge wire it might fill in a little better if you use 26 but i mean it's okay just to give you an idea yeah i'm finding this very thin but C'est la vie, that's what I have, and I will just go with it. And we might have been better to start at the thin side of the hat first, because it's gonna get tricky as we get up to the top of the hat to fill it in. And I have also have one where I filled it in with beads, but because this is so small, it might not um, work so well. I'd have to have very, very tiny beads. I actually pulled out my beads in case I wanted to use them today, but I don't think I will get around to it. So this is the hat, like that. It's gonna be filled in like that. So it looks pretty cool. And um, I guess I could just finish it up. Like if you just wind it like this, it doesn't work as well. Like you pretty well have to, I wonder if we just did, if we did a couple like that, because I find when you wind it around it just takes forever. So what if we do like a couple of regular winds and then a couple of like weaving winds? Let's see if that's gonna work. So we're gonna go here and do a weaving wind here. Let's try it. Is that a thing where they just, where you just like go around? Let's push it down a little bit because otherwise it takes forever. 
Is that a thing where you just like wind it like one, two, maybe three, and then you go in and do the weaving wind? If it's not a thing, it's I'm, I'm making it a thing because it just is gonna save me a lot of time. So we're gonna go like that and go in here. And then we can do that same thing where we go in round maybe one, two, three, and then we're going to go in here, bring it up, get in there, you. Perfect, oh, it's getting sunny out there. That's a nice thing. There we go. So we're gonna bring that and perfect. There, so now we could just clip it. Okay, you can coil over multiple wires or just a single. What if, what if I went back on itself? Could I do that? No, we're gonna go, we're gonna go. Yeah, Amber definitely does more wire weaving than I do. But if we do it this way, because I mean, the hat is holding its shape because it's quite stiff and we did fix the wires so they're not like going against each other. You know, sometimes when you try to weave like this, it just, the wires collapse, but this is working pretty well. So now let's just clip that. Yeah, we could just go back on itself and fill it in that way. That works. Let's just push that in. Yeah, it definitely looks better once you've filled it in a little bit. And then we're going to just finish, finish the wire, really. Perfecto. Okay, so there's Witchy. Oh, that looks better. Look at that, guys. That filled in quite, quite well. So now let's go across and see what we can do. Okay, so thank you. I tried it and it's gorgeous. There we go. So yeah, it really fills it in nicely. So that's a nice discovery. Let's cut some more wire and fill in the side. Yeah, she's coming along. Just her arm I didn't fill in, but I could do that after. Okay, so let's go ahead here, and why don't we start in the middle here of our wire, and then we're just going to wind it around this part of the hat, okay, around here, and yeah, see if I had just left this and done it after the live stream I might not have thought to do that so it's nice to work things out on the live and then like I said if ever you guys have to leave it's no big deal at all so this it's going to be hard to weave in that way but why don't we just like start here we're going to go this way and we'll just wind it around we'll see I don't know how well we're going to be able to fill in the middle part but we're going to see and here, get in there. Perfect. And uh, maybe I'll, I will. Should I wind it around again? Maybe. Let's fix that. Okay. And we are going to bring this one in. And then maybe I'll just try to wind it around because otherwise it's going to take a long time. Could have done a row of beads too. Hi, Rainbow Obsidian. I'm just about to make dinner. Okay, nice. Okay, so let's try to bring this one up a little and wind it. I don't know if we're going to be able to work it that way. I think I'm going to try though because otherwise it's going to take me forever if I'm doing the, the weaving thing. So I'm just going to wind it because the wires seem to be pretty securely apart. You know, they're, they're, the outline was 20 gauge, so it's definitely holding its shape. Let me bring this one down. I'm gonna have to hold that with my nail so it will stay I'm not super centered on the screen anymore. There we go. And you can see it's getting sunny outside. I'm trying to hold these wires back with my nail so they won't fall off the end. See, they're starting to fall off the end but let's try to do as much as we can, and then I'll wind it through. There we go. Helps to have fingernails. So now I'm gonna put the end through here. 
push that one over, pull it over a little bit. Oops, see it's coming off the end. And push that one through that hole. Whoops, why is it not going through? Okay, get it in there, perfect. Okay, now, <clears throat> Okay, so that's secure. If you wind, 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 and then you just pull it through, it's okay. And now this side, let's do the same over here, and then we're gonna have to fill in the middle somehow. So let's do the same thing where we go here. Um, I think I will start it with a weave, with a weave thing though first. Okay, we're gonna take this here, and then this one, maybe do it as well. Mm hmm and we could do the thing where we do like weave weave wind if we want if if it looks like it's going to get distorted so we can do that so we can go like one two three and then weave it here okay and then over here do another weave so about halfway, we did that. And then one, two, and then maybe I'll just go in there and I, maybe I'll weave my way back now. I think you have to kind of improvise there. Okay, so we've got it. It's like more of an open weave. I'm just gonna pull my sleeves up. And hi, Deb. Turning out cute. Thank you. So let's bring it back. Um, the way we uh, bring it back on itself to fill it in a little bit more. And I think we're gonna maybe if we go. No, let's just do it this way. Oh, it's sunny. Wow. Hallelujah. How did that happen? Okay, so now we're going to bring this one over here. There was a double rainbow the other night. It was so beautiful. My friend's dad is visiting Canada for the first time ever uh, from Malaysia, and um, they've been taking him all over the place and posting these beautiful photos um, around town, like Mont Royal and all around. And, um, and he... They were up on the mountain and there was a double rainbow the other day. It was so beautiful and that uh, was a really nice thing. Okay, so here the hat's looking good. Now the question is how we're going to do that part. I should have maybe started that before I did the other stuff. So let's maybe come back on ourselves again here. Okay, we're going to come back just a little bit. I'm not going to worry too much about it here. And around here and back here. So now we just need to fill in the middle part, which is a little tricky. Oh, and now it's getting tangled in the hair. Uh, we, what gauge wires? So for the outline of the witch, I use 20 gauge artistic wire, the black. And then I, for the swirls, I use 22 gauge. And then for this hat, I'm using 28 gauge. I would have used 26, but I don't have 26 blacks. So I'm using the 28. And um, yeah, it's turning out quite well. So the question though now is filling in this area is gonna be a little tricky because there's all this sort of like middle area that's, um, hard to access a little bit but I'm going to try just to do I'm just going to go back and forth with this and this part I think I might add wire to this after the live stream but for now let me just finish up this wire and then I wasn't intending to spend so much time on the witch but because I decided to fill in the hat and the and the um dress it's taking me a little bit longer but that's okay I can always add some more wire after but I'm just trying to fill in this little area 
here so it looks a little bit consistent. And I'm just going all the way to the edge. I'm using the that bottom wire, you know, where the wires crisscross to make the hat. I'm just attaching it in that section here. So I think it's going to be fine. Poke that one through a little bit. Of course, my eyesight is not what it used to be. So I'm just maybe backtrack a little bit so I can just finish up this black wire. So we're going to go back to this other side, bring this one in. And just trying to, I'm just trying to fill in the holes because there's a few holes there. And I typically use copper. Uh, no, I've actually never had any problems with the color chipping off. Um, I use a lot of different colors in the artistic wire and um, no, they're fine. I mean, you don't want to use crappy tools because sometimes when your tools aren't a good quality, uh, they can scratch the wire. But if you go gently, um, and you have decent quality tools, you shouldn't have a problem at all. So there we go. We're just going to keep filling in this a little bit more. And then I think that'll be fine. You guys get the idea. If you want to fill it in a little more, you can. There's some little nooks and crannies that are hard to fill in just because of the angle of the wires and stuff, but it should be fine. So... I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bring this one to the back and clip it and that'll be the witch and then we'll look at the other templates I don't know if I'm gonna have time because it's almost three o'clock but we're gonna see so let's see what we have uh you really should say unless you really yeah unless you re you're really rough with your tools or you you know, bend it and straighten it and bend it and straighten it making mistakes it should be totally fine yeah there we go let's pinch that in a little more because see I've even like pinched it with my pliers and it hasn't scratched off so I did it a few quite a few times so guys here is the witch I might try to fill in this other row arm or maybe add more wire but that's the idea so there she is I'm gonna grab a little sip of water I will put, she's epic, thank you. I will put a better picture in the community section. So here's here's what she looks like, but I will put a proper photo. I do like the broom. I really like the broom, actually. And then um, for the other Halloween ones, this is what I got. So I this one was actually like to do a, a spider on us, like over a stone. So I don't know, maybe next week I'll try to find something like that. I've done a lot of skeletons before. I like this one with the kind of spiral. That could be really cute. Actually, a flat wire skeleton would be really cute too. Maybe I'll think about a flat wire skeleton. And then we have like a skull. Uh, we have zombies because was it? I think it was maybe Sharon had asked for zombies as well. I forget. The bat. This is cool, like a barbed wire heart. I kind of like this one too with the heart with the stitches in it. So there's all kinds of things you can do. Uh, let me know guys, guys what you guys would like me to make for some of these Halloween things. Um, um, perfect. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, thanks so much. Yeah, I'll definitely put a nice picture in the uh, community section. So let me know if there's any of these you want me to tackle super fast. Otherwise, I can do them next week for sure. So some of them I've done, like I've definitely done a lot of um, skeletons before. This one's more with like beads and stuff. And uh, it was mostly the zombies. I've done some new pictures for zombies and Frankenstein and Dracula and things like that. So um, yeah, so let me know if you want me to do one more thing. Otherwise, we can reconnect next week. And I'm gonna just clean up some of this stuff while I see what I see spider web over the stone. So let's do that one next week because that's definitely a little bit more labor intensive. Uh, but let me know if there's any quick, quick ones you would like me to do this week. Otherwise I can do them some more of these next week. I'm just gonna tidy up some of my wires right now. The bat, you like the bat? 
Yeah, why don't we do a bat? Let's do a quick bat. Okay, so with the black, because uh, I have, the, maybe I'll just go with the 22 gauge wire because the, the 20 is pretty thick. So hi, Sabrina, just in time where we were gonna check, uh, sign off and then decided to do the bat. So let's just do it. So I'm going to get 18 gauge of wire. So now we're morphing into Halloween. We started with Wizard of Oz and now we're doing Halloween. And we can just start maybe with the, around the middle here, I guess, would be a good thing to do. So let's just start by doing a little loop. And we're gonna loop it around here. And then we're gonna bring it up. The 22 is a little thin, but I'm just gonna go with it. You might wanna rather do a uh, 20, 20 gauge outline but my hands are a little sore right now, so I'm gonna go with 22. Uh, the bat, yeah, so here's the bat. So let's just go ahead and do some pointy ears. Let me do some pointy ears. And this one too, I think I did some bats last year too, or the year before, I kind of lost track. Oh, you know what I did? I have a video for doing uh, Halloween skewers for Halloween parties and stuff. And that was a collaboration with my friend, Allie. She's since moved away from Montreal, so I haven't seen her in a while, but she has a Spanish channel to all you Spanish speaking people um, called Yo Te Explico. I will try to line, uh, sign, um, I will link up the tutorial that we did a collaboration and I haven't seen her channel in a long time, but as far as I know, she's still posting and she, yeah, moved out of Montreal, but she still does like some social media and, and things like that. So you could definitely uh, look her up. I'm just gonna make these a little more pointy and just twisted them a little on an angle. And then that makes them look a little bit more pointy. So we've got that. And then we wanna form the bat. So what I'm thinking to do, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just having this idea that maybe I should, I don't know if I wanna do the outline first or that part first. Well, let's try our hack where we do the, where we do the wires at the same, the wings at the same time. So if we bring it, let's see if that's gonna work. What if we take this, bring this one around, just to bring that one around, and then we're going to bend that one Bend them out. Let's see if that's gonna work. So if we do this, bend that one out, and then bend that one around here and bend it out. So if we have these two wires straight out, okay, and do you do a Saint for All Hallows Eve? Hmm. I'm not sure if you have any ideas of things like, I'm not sure what that is, but you can always email me at uh, heatherboydwire at gmail.com if you have some other ideas um, and you can send me photos of things um, so I have an idea of what they are because some things I have never heard of. So we're going to just take this and I'm doing both wings at once. We're going to see if it's going to work. Uh, maybe like that, okay, like a little bend. And then here, let's take the wires here and we're gonna go bend and curve. Hopefully it's the proportions are gonna be good. And then bend and curve here, check it. And then bend and curve here. So hopefully these wings will be the same size this is that little hack where you do two things at once. And then we're gonna, oopalai, we're gonna open this up here, here. And we have, yeah, they're kind of, they're the same now. There's a little magic trick. So we've got that, they're the same size. And then what I wanna do is bring this down here, okay. Spread them out a little bit. And I wanna do a little thing on the bottom where you could hook a little, you could do a, like a little, a little loop or something. So why don't we take this here 
bend it straight down. I don't know how much, how far down it could be. We're gonna bend that straight down, and then this one, we're gonna wind around it. So we're gonna take this, make sure it's somewhat centered, and then hold that, and then bring it around here, okay? Around here. And then we're going to loop that around here. We're gonna see if that's gonna work that way. Oh, no. Let's bring this one around to make the body. So we're gonna bring this one around, that'll make the body. And then this one, we're gonna take this and make a loop at the bottom so we could dangle a little bead or something. Okay, so we're gonna take this, bring this one around, and to the back. Okay, we'll bring this one to the back. So that'll be like a little loop that we can dangle a bead on. And then I'm gonna bring this one around to the front. Okay, and then we're gonna bring that around to form the body. So, um, there. and then what I wanna do is take this one and wind it around here. And then this one and wind it around here. So that would be kind of the body and so I think rather than having too many wires going back and forth, I'm actually going to take this, give it a little tug and clip it. And then this one too, I'm going to take this, give it a little tug here. Okay, and pinch and clip it. Oh, you have family that speaks Spanish. That's cool. I would love to learn Spanish. And um, Kristen, my sister, who I think is still there, uh, you were recommending a learning app, right, for learning a language? Because she's learning more French. And um, I had one before to learn uh, Italian because I went to Italy. And then I didn't end up really using it because we had a tour guide that did all the talking. So but I would like to learn some Spanish because I know a lot of you guys speak Spanish and it'd be fun to be able to actually speak to you in Spanish. So here's what we have so far with the um, thing. I might have your mermaid's tool, to, uh, tail. Yes, exactly. Yeah, because I had that mermaid tail video where you use that hack. Uh, some people think those look like lungs, so that was unintentional. But, um, you know, everybody sees different things in different, in different things. So now I'm going to wind it around this corner here. So let's bring that wire in here. And I guess I could have done a little loop there. I might have done that before where I made a loop. And we're going to take this, bring it around. I mean, you could even make um, silver or gold bats. They don't have to be black, but the black is cool. It's a little more authentic. So let's bring this through to the front here. Okay. And we want that to be nicely in that corner there. So we'll give it a little pinch, just gentle. And now we're going to bring this one here and bring that one over. And again, give it a little pinch. Okay, make sure that's positioned well. And pinch it in so it just stays in that corner. There we go. So that's good. And then this one here. If you want it better, like to be it more like pulled in there, just pull it right through. Like just give it, pull it right through to give it a good tug. Might be better, might be more solid. And then you can go in Go right in with your flush cutters. Oh, my eyes are so bad now. Okay, so now. There we go. So that's in there. Now we can adjust it a bit. So we have, oh, now we can see the end. So maybe that's not the best bet. I'm just going to move it over a bit. Okay. So now we have 
the bat. That looks good. So now let's do the other side. Uh, day 91, Duo, Duolingo. Good for you. Wow, you are disciplined. That's amazing. So I should try du Duolingo for Spanish. I think that would be a good idea. So let's go this way. And uh, I am going to wind this one around here. Give it, hold it really well in place. Give that a good little tug. Yeah, day 91, that's great. That's like almost a third of a year. Let's bring that one around here. Bring this one to the front. Yeah, if you do this bat, you can always do the outline in um, 20 gauge and then the these wires 22 if you like, if you want the outside to be a little more solid. Okay, so now we're going to trim that. And I think I do want to dangle a bead, but you know what? I think this would be cool in like silver wire too with the bead, but we've done it in black already. So we're just going to go with that. I have to figure out what kind of bead I want to put in there. So now we're going to attach this one here. Bring that one over here. And Perfect. Bring that here and give that a pitch. No, come on you. It's like hard to get into that angle. There we go. Perfect. So that looks really cool. And like I said, you can definitely do the um, outside at 20, but I do li I like it into the 22. So let's dangle a little bead. Let's see what we got. Oh, my computer's gonna die. So let me just plug that in. There we go. Uh, Duolingo and Babbel for German. Ooh, cool. Awesome. Okay, so let us check our beads. I thought I had some orange beads. That's odd. Oh, here they are. I have a bunch of these orange beads. Let's see. Or a teardrop shape bead would be cool. What have I got in here? Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I mean, I have a little orange crystal. That's kind of cool. Um, I might go with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's a, whoa, that's cool. That's a heart, but I don't think I'm going to use that. Um, okay, so that's... So far, we've got that. Let me know what you guys think of the of the orange bead, because I do have some other beads. I have a friend that pe speaks Portuguese because she lived in Brazil. She had a language school. My friend that owns the Viva Vida Art Gallery. She, um, ooh, I don't mind the red heart either. Ooh, let me know what you think. I have red heart. I have, I have, um, orange bead, orange crystal. So you guys let me know which one you like. I have little, little hearts too. I just don't know where they are. So let me know which you prefer, the red heart or the orange crystal, and I will attach that and we'll be good to go. The bat in bay. Hmm. Orange, cool. Okay, so let's do the orange. I'm just gonna get a little piece of wire and we'll make, I don't think they make black head pins, so we're just going to have to make our own. We're just gonna do a little loop and center it. And then we're going to attach that orange fluorescent. If I had fluorescent or glow in the dark, that'd be super cool. So here's the orange. Doesn't look as orange when you put the black thing through it. What if we had a head pin? It would look, it might look better. Let me just see. Yeah, when you put the black wire through it, it doesn't look as good. But let me see what I got here. Okay, let us check. Got a little head pin. Ooh, that's a big head pin. I think I have some little ones in here. What do we got? We have, ooh, 
Oh, here's a little one. Okay, let's try it with the silver head pin and see if it looks a little better. I, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the silver. I find it looks a little odd with the black wire through it. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit amount, like quarter inch. Orange miracle beads. I do have orange miracle beads as well. Let me have a look. So we've got that. So we've got that crystal and the orange miracle bead. Well, I have, <clears throat> I actually have big and small. I have big, I have orange crystal. I have orange miracle bead big and orange miracle bead small. Where did that thing go? So here's the orange miracle bead. It's big. Okay. And I have the orange miracle bead small. Let's see. Just gonna put that on there and then we'll just see. Yeah, so I have the let me make that loop a little smaller. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I have the small orange miracle bead and then the larger orange miracle bead, and I have the crystal. So you guys decide which one you like. Crystal looks good. Heather loves miracle beads, yes. They do make black head pins, but they're easy to make and not really worth it. Yeah, I mean, the only reason that I ask is because I like the head pins because they have that flat end to them. Whereas when you make your own, they've got like a loop underneath. So that would be cool to have some black ones. So I like that idea. I'm going to look. Um, I just ordered some miracle beads. Yay. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, uh, was that from Etsy? I think there's an Etsy link. Um, I don't know if there's, there's also an Amazon link too. We've got both. I'm, I'm kind of like revamping my Amazon shop because they've, they've improved the way they list items and stuff. So I'm working on that. Uh, a kind of odd shape, shade of orange for the miracle bead versus the crystal. So are we going with the crystal? I think we're going with the crystal, eh? I think so. So let's open this up and put this one on. But you can do, I mean, you can do anything, any kind of bead that you want. So let's just stick it on and see how it looks. This um, head pin has really hard wire. So there we go with a little crystal, super cute. So that's it, guys. So we've just done the bat. And I mean, you could fill in the bat with, with a wire as well as if you like. So we've got those two. Maybe I could bring them up so you can see them a little better. Okay, up here, bring those here. There, that's a better way to do it. Let me see if you guys can see that. No, this way, I think. There we go, we want it this way. Yay, so let me know which is your favorite. And I will put a photo in the community section. And I am going to turn the camera Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. And now I won't be able to see your comments, but um, I appreciate everybody's comments and feedback. And and um, it's been a fun one. So now we're officially into Halloween. Yay. Actually, it's warm. I could take this one off. I always like to have a little picture that I could put for my thumbnail, but maybe I'll do a plaid. I'll have my plaid shirt on in the thumbnail, how about that? And my hair is almost dry, I washed it like four hours ago. So there we go. So a smile for the thumbnail. Where do I look, that way? I'm not sure. So anyways, thank you guys so much for hopping on. Thank you Amber for always moderating the chat and Amber does amazing timestamps guys. So if you guys are watching the replay, 
you can look at the description of the video, it's in the next few days, and she does play-by-play um, -play time stamps where you could hop to the section of the video where you need to see something, and, uh, and then like I said, I'll put a photo of the finished work in the Wire Makers Club and in the community section. And um, stay tuned, in the next uh, few days we're announcing who's going to be participating in Live Wires for the win. I have a couple of people that um, their photos got slight, um, mislaid in cyberspace. So I put a little note in the community section. If you have applied for Live Wires for the win, uh, check the community section. Be sure to email me your photos and we are going to be announcing the participants um, in the next two days. So that's exciting. And, and the, the, it's going to start next week. So super fun and uh, then we'll do a 10-day challenge after that's over and so look out for that the 10-day bookmark making challenge have an amazing day guys and have a great weekend thank you everybody for always hanging out especially people who hung out right until the very end so thank you guys and we will see you the next time bye